These are the charred remains of last week's fire in Wennington in Kent. People's homes, along with treasured belongings, destroyed by the flames. Even those who have been able to come back into the village, their village has changed. That was one of the things the fire brigade said to them. You've all been affected in some way, um, you know, and I don't think we can discount that impact on people's mental health. Two years ago, the village was hit by a different type of extreme weather, heavy rain. The flooding in the local church, now surrounded by charred grass, has only just been repaired. We just finished repairing that flood damage uh, a week before the fire. So we've seen both sides of climate change. Some experts are concerned that with rising global temperatures, the extreme events that happened here in Wennington are more likely to occur. As the costs of last week's heat are counted, a new analysis by the Met Office shows the average UK temperature is trending up. But the climate does vary year on year. In 2021, the maximum hottest temperature was a seemingly unremarkable 32.2 degrees compared to 40.3 degrees just this month. What we regard as normal now, only 30 years ago, we would have regarded as really unusually warm. So this is showing us, this is an illustration of the fact that our climate here in the UK is warming. We are seeing that in our observations. This is happening now. It's not just something that's going to happen in the future. And it's not just people who will bear the brunt of increasing heat. Only caterpillars that were here uh, will have gone, unfortunately. Here at Gutteridge Wood and Meadows Nature Reserve, the smell of smoke still lingers. And this is normally a damp floodplain meadow, uh, supporting a range of plants and uh, butterflies and other insects. And of course now there's nothing to support the butterflies, so they have to look elsewhere if they manage to es hopefully escape the actual fire itself. But in terms of the wildlife, yes, it's been devastated. If current trends continue, the climate in the UK is going to get hotter and wetter. Records may well continue to be smashed. Deborah Cohen, News at 10.